Hello all, Project Wargaming here with an update on uh, 3D printing snake rail fence for the American Civil War. So uh, as many of you have seen in the past, I did a video on uh, constructing uh, some snake rail fence just using plastic uh, strips and cutting them out and then individually gluing these down. And of course that uh, gave a pretty good result, but it was a big pain in the butt and uh, just took forever. So, um, you know, I would just sit down and do some when I had time and, and work my way through it. But when I got to 3D printer, I started looking online to see if there was any uh, models out there for snake rail fence. And to my surprise, there really wasn't any that I saw. I, there were some bigger ones that I think were for uh, um, 28 millimeter, but nothing for six millimeter, which surprised me. So I uh, decided that uh, I was going to try to cat up some myself and do it. So um, this is kind of my first go of it. And you can see that it works. It looks very similar to what I had. It's a little too standard for me um, and looks a little plain. When I was making this, I realized, I was like, why am I using square rails? They didn't really use square rails. They almost always used uh, triangular shaped rails to make the fence. And so I uh, moved on to making triangular shaped rails. Um, so it created uh, what I think is a, a really interesting fence. Um, you can see that there's some casting imperfections in this. And while that's a little annoying, I actually think that it adds a little bit of character to it because you can come in and kind of press that down and glue them in those spots. And then it makes the, the rail not look so uniform. Oftentimes this uh, snake rail fence was just used and abused and uh, over time just, just started to kind of fall apart. And so it was not uh, super crisp and clean. And uh, so I think that this uh, gives it a great uh, feeling and it doesn't uh, create a real heavy feeling too on the model. So when you put it side by side there, I think it uh, lines up pretty, pretty nicely and, and looks good. So um, I have kind of worked my way through and gotten... Um, that and then I have posted these um, files, STL files, to Thingiverse, and I now have a uh, Project Wargaming uh, Thingiverse uh, where you can find uh, all of these models uh, for free download. You probably do need a resin printer. I doubt that the other kind of printer would be able to do this, um, so it's gone pretty well. I'm working on uh, different styles of fence now too working on a stone and rail fence that I'll have a, a picture of. Uh, but then I also made this this one, which I'm calling just the, the tall snake rail fence. So oftentimes they uh, made them a little bit taller just to keep the horses in and keep them from jumping. And uh, it, it goes there. This actually um, holds up, for whatever reason, a lot better in the printer than uh, this one does. So there's just not as many imperfections. And the base of this is the exact same. <laughs> Thing is this so I I am clearly not an expert on 3d printing and I don't really know why that is the case I would assume it's just these additional support structures that I placed for the uh, taller taller piece above that's that's keeping it together but um you know I just uh, spray paint them beige and then give it a, a good wash and that's about it you can also they fit exactly the long ones fit exactly onto a uh, just a normal size popsicle stick so if you're wanting it to be a little bit higher then you can set it on that base if you wanted to reinforce them a little bit more you can uh, they're you know a little flimsy but not too bad in some of the newer models that I'm I, I've uploaded uh, there's actually some carved out here to try to save on resin and then also try to keep them from from warping so some of the earlier ones especially on these smaller ones tended to want to like roll up on the end um, and so what I did was uh, take take some material out from the bottom just to uh, hopefully make it uh, not not uh, warp as bad after the production so anyways that's kind of what I've been up to so uh, I'm pretty happy with it I'm pretty excited I can print off about uh, oh six of these in various sizes uh, in about an hour and uh, yeah, so it's just way faster. And um, 
I can just print off a bunch of these and, and I'm good and then just sit down and, and give, give them a paint. So anyways, I hope that you guys find these files helpful. Um, you can send me questions about how to do it, but I, like I said, I'm still pretty much an, a novice when it comes to the 3D printing thing and just learning uh, how to do it. So plenty other YouTube videos out there that are way smarter on resin printing than, than I am. So, but as far as I can tell, these are the only, um, STL files out there for, uh, for making snake rail fence in six millimeters. So that's it. Talk to you later.